Have a look for yourself. Wow. In perfect temperature. Trying a box suet. This is it, the infamous yogurt coffee. A lady wiped out, the suspension went on her brake. She crashed straight up into the wall, lost her entire payload. Well, today we're gonna be tasting five different varieties of Vietnamese coffee drink. We're gonna start with the Cafe Fin, get into a Cafe Suida, a Cafe Bac Sua, a Cafe Chung, and the Cafe Sua Chua. And if we're lucky we have time, we're gonna jump into a secret sixth coffee. Vietnam is the second largest coffee producer in the world after Brazil, and it's the largest Robusta growing origin on the planet. This means it holds an important role when it comes to global coffee production and has a significant effect on global market. Robusta makes up about 95% of Vietnam's coffee production, while Arabica makes up the remaining coffee. Before we get into the best five coffee drinks in Vietnam, I almost forgot to introduce myself. What's up, Sin Chow, Ni Hao, Bonjour, K Chow. I'm Evan, this is Noodlehead. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to sub to the channel, like, or tell a friend about us if you're interested in Vietnam. All right, what's up? Mind the noise a little bit. We are at a traditional Vietnamese street side cafe right on the river and the highway in District 4. We're about to try a cafe fin, so we'll show you a little bit about that process again. I'll get right into it. This is a strong, thick, slowly drip coffee with a very high caffeine content. I'm excited to try it. This is sort of the original Viet coffee. The most traditional way that Viets enjoy this coffee is known as the cafe fin process. It's a traditional method of brewing coffee that involves a slow drip. They use a metal filter called a fin, which is placed over a mug or glass. The coffee grounds are added to the fin and then hot water is poured over them. Because the coffee's been compressed, the water drips very slowly through the coffee, creating a brew that's extremely high in caffeine content, as the contact process is quite lengthy. This method produces a strong, rich cup of coffee, akin to a Turkish coffee or a stronger espresso. All right, so this is as basic and traditional as it gets. This is what's known as the cafe fin. As you can see, it's a little metal filter system. Coffee inside, metal filter. Almost like a drip coffee or a standard. It takes a little longer to make though, so the grinds are done really fine, and you end up with a very thick, intense, strong black coffee. That's why so many of these other Vietnamese coffee drinks are mixed with condensed milk, with sugar, with egg, with so many dairy products. Because this drink traditionally is very thick and very strong. This particular one doesn't look that strong. Served with sugar and cha, a little hot tea. Sometimes you can also get a cha da, which is an ice version. You can have an ice version of a cafe fin, known as a cafe den da, which just means black coffee with ice. Let's see how it goes. That's actually really good. <laughs> Classic Vietnam coming through in the clutch. So it's a robusta bean. It's dark, it's a little roasty, a little bit of chocolate flavor, a little bit of burnt flavor on the end there. That's nice, I could drink like six of these, seriously. Let's get to it though. Let's get into some of the more complex drinks. Let's head to our next spot. All right, what's up guys? The Cafe Suida, or ice milk coffee. This is the most popular type of coffee in Vietnam, and you see it absolutely everywhere. It originates from the French colonial period. The brewing method is quite simple. The grounds are tightly packed in this metal filter known as the fin, and once the boiling water has been poured over and the coffee is dripped slowly, the glass has been prepped with a layer of sweetened condensed milk, which waits at the bottom. It's mixed together, often with the addition of ice or da, and this creates that beautiful, attractive caramel brown color. It's rich, sweet, and creamy, and extremely strong. So this is the most famous of all Vietnamese coffee drinks, the Cafe Suida. It is Cafe Fin, which is like a, the strong, thick, drip coffee, and it's on top of condensed milk. And the condensed milk is, I mean, as you imagine it, like Rooster Brand or whatever you see at home, it is just like pure sugar. And this comes from a time when it was a lot harder to get fresh dairy, back during the American War and the embargo, pre doi moi, and this stuff is ridiculously sweet. It is insanely sugary. You wanna have it with a little bit less sugar, you ask for it, it don't. It's as sweet as this city is loud. It's a good coffee, but it's known basically for being a double hit. It's like this speedball of coffee, right? You're getting cocaine and heroin. Caffeine and sugar, full blast, in your face. This may be like the sixth coffee I've had today, but we're gonna keep the industry secrets to ourselves. <sighs> That's delicious. 
I can have like about one of these a week, otherwise I'm getting diabetes for sure. So maybe we should interrupt our regular scheduled programming to talk about the fact that I have blood all over my shirt. This is a bike safety PSA in Saigon. Wear a helmet. People crash their bikes here all the time. We literally just saw a bike crash. I'll cut back to the footage and show you. You guys think I'm joking? A lady wiped out. The suspension went on her brake. She crashed straight up into the wall, lost her entire payload. She looked pretty messed up. I think her wrist was broken. She had a concussion. We tried to help her out, give her a bit of first aid. She didn't necessarily want it, so we just moved her stuff off. But when I say traffic is bad here, I'm not kidding. Every time I drive in Saigon, we see this. Straight up accidents. People get smashed up. Not a joke. Every single time I film, right there. The lady over there with a the concussion. Be careful. All right, so this place is tucked away. It's down a back alley, up a flight of stairs, around the corner, a little enough with that classic Saigon charm. We're at Hoff Coffee Brewers, which is a third wave espresso based drink place, but it's got that old school Saigon charm. Let's get into it right now. We're gonna try a bak sua. The bak sua, similar to the ice milk coffee, is made with a little less coffee and a little more condensed milk. Bak sua literally means little milk from Cantonese, and the Chinese were the first to drink this type of coffee. So it originates from the Cholon or Chinatown district. We're trying a fairly traditional drink, but at a much more modern sort of third wave, newer type of cafe. We're trying a bak sua today, which is basically a milk coffee. It actually has real fresh milk. The product is not as common as the sua da. Generally though, when you order one, you do get a little bit of condensed milk in it to get that classic sweetness. So let's mix her up and give it a try. Beautiful caramel latte color. And that's good. That's balanced nicely. So as I said, they roast their own beans here at Hoff. There's just a touch of sweetness, like real restraint. It tastes delicious. I mean, I could I could literally drink these all day and to be honest, I do. Ooh, that's nice. They're also, you can tell they're using Arabica beans. So there is some Arabica grown now in Vietnam, up in the Jalat region. It's becoming more popular, obviously, as this third wave of coffee takes hold, but it's still not the go-to. And certainly the, the main product being exported, the traditional Vietnamese coffee, is still Robusta. It's over 80% of the cash crop here in the country. Next up, we have Cafe Yua, the coconut coffee. Two of the most famous export products of Vietnam, which everyone loves domestically as well. The method is to mix the coconut with milk and condensed milk and crushed ice, and, and you add the coffee last. This is really a dessert product. I mean, I can't imagine the calorie count, but you sprinkle some dried sugar-coated coconut on top for that extra crunchy bite. This is like the 7-Eleven. One of my favorite drinks coffee. you can get in Ho Chi Minh. This is the Cafe Ko Yua from Kong Cafe. It's not exactly traditional. I mean, it's definitely Vietnamese. Everyone drinks these things. It's a really popular chain. You can find them all the way from Hanoi to Ha Long Bay. They're even in Seoul, South Korea. It's a delicious beverage. It's blended, it's sweet, it's bitter, it's caffeine, it's sugar, and it's coconut. The egg coffee. At the time, there was a milk shortage, and even the canned condensed milk was hard to get a hold of here, let alone fresh milk. So he came up with this incredible idea of using egg yolks beaten with condensed milk and butter. It's extremely rich, an over-the-top and vivacious drink with a great mouthfeel. That warm water there around the outside here is keeping the coffee warm as we drink it, but it's just at the perfect temperature, like a classic double boiler, the way you'd melt chocolate or something like that. So it's not gonna cook it and it's not gonna go cold and you need to have it at that consistent, perfect temperature for it to stay drinkable the entire time. This is it, folks, the infamous Cafe Chung of Vietnam. Uh, okay, come on, thank you. Wow. So this is incredible. This is the famous Cafe Chung. Obviously, you can see it's a double boiler, so it's sitting in hot water here so that the egg doesn't cook. It's an incredible drink very unique to Vietnam. You're not gonna get this anywhere else. A little bit of thickness. Woo. This is the Cafe Chung. Let's give it a try. Okay, it's like not quite an omelet, but it's there's a lot of mouthfeel there. There's some serious thickness. It's also really salty. So this is a savory coffee drink, and 
If you're just here visiting, if you are a tourist from out of town coming to Ho Chi Minh or passing through Vietnam, this is an absolute must try. You know, that's what we're doing here. The five coffee drinks in Vietnam that you must try, you absolutely have to get a cafe to them. We're right here at the coffee lab, situated around the corner from the Notre Dame Cathedral, just steps from the famous post office. So if you're doing a sort of photo tour or a city tour of Ho Chi Minh, you're gonna be passing through here. It is in the heart of District 1 where all of the tourists come through. Have a seat, relax, enjoy a Cafe Chung. So if I'm being honest, the Cafe Chung is probably not my go-to drink. You're not gonna have this day to day. This is more a special occasion thing. If you're out at night, you want a kind of dessert in a cup. The fifth and final of our coffee drinks to try in Vietnam is the Cafe Sue Chua. This is a yogurt coffee. So this is a really unique experience and is not to be missed. The method is to add a thick layer of yogurt to the glass, similar as the way you would add condensed milk to the Cafe Sua. Get right into it. This is a Cafe Sua Chua, which means like a yogurt cafe. Like I think the yogurt should really balance it out with a bit of sweetness and tartness to that traditional strong, burnt, bitter, robusta flavor of the coffee. Saigon at its best. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's like the yogurt's really sweet. There's a lot of sugar in it, which is pretty standard for any dairy product you're gonna get in Vietnam. And that does balance out a bit. Alright, it's the end of a really long day. Time to reveal our sixth and final coffee. A little special secret for it in the end of our top five. This is what's known as a cafe mui, so it's a salted coffee. To be honest, it's not that traditional. It looks it's a blended iced coffee drink made with an espresso whipped cream, a little bit of salted caramel. Have a look for yourself. Moment of truth, six coffees deep, an entire day consuming caffeine and sugar. And it's just like home. This is like remarkably uncoffee like. There's definitely some sort of sugar or syrup in the actual drink, blended with the ice. Getting like, a ton of milk product. Probably my least favorite thing I've had all day. It's, uh, it's not that sweet, which is a saving grace, but it's also not that coffee. -y. It tastes a lot like, um, Tastes a lot like an iced cappuccino, like you get at Tim Hortons, like direct from the smoothie machine in Canada, which is everyone's summer favorite. But only to fuel your road trip, not because it's actually a good drink. So, call me old school, call me whatever. I'm gonna be sticking to my cafe fin and drinking my coffee black. Hope I wanna mix it up. Going with the cafe suida. Thanks again for watching, sticking around to the end. Share the channel with a friend. I'm Evan, you've been watching Noodlehead. Like, sub, cheers.